Thank God that I could be here again to um, share the word of God. I want to ask you a question. It's a simple question. Um, one chicken, how many legs does one chicken have? How many? Two. Two, yes, you are correct. And now I have to ask another question. A chicken that has two legs, oh. how many chickens? A lot. Chicks. A lot. That's wrong. <laughs> the right answer is that every chicken has two legs. <laughs> okay, another one. That's her. If there are ten, if there are ten birds on on the roof, and then we shoot two, how many are left? How many are left? If there's ten on the roof, and then we we shoot two. So none of them are left because they all flew away after we shot the two. I'm going to start with a reading from the book of Isaiah 12 2. Isaiah 12, verse 2. It says, I will trust and not be afraid. So let's say it's the other one. I will trust and not be afraid. Let's say it together. I will trust and not be afraid. I will trust and not be afraid. I will trust and not be afraid. So can we, with all the problems we have, can we trust and not be afraid? So one of the things that we always have is, is uh, worry and anxiety. So we're always worried that when we're sick, you know, are we ever going to be healed? Are we ever going to get better? We're always worried about our family, about our work, you know, is it going to get any better? So God loves all of us and He's not going to let any of these problems ruin our lives. So anytime that we have any problems, there's always something hidden behind, you know, a lesson that you learn, something that will, some good that will come out of it. See, so as Christians, we should think that, you know, any problems that we have, it's because God wanted us to go through these problems. So God requires to get through these problems and struggles so that we can come out stronger in the end. Every day we wake up, you know, there's always something that we're thinking about that we're worried about every day from the morning to the night to the evening. Mm -hmm. 
Have you ever had it where you, you go and you want to just get a cup of coffee, you want to get in and out? I just need a cup of coffee. That <laughs> one my why this thing happened to me long line of the wrong way and the And the person in front of you they, they want to pay a dollar nineteen in pennies and they're counting and counting and you're like, why is this happening to me? I just want a cup of coffee. So finally it's your turn, you're like, thank God. Can I have a cup of coffee? Can I have a cup of coffee? <laughs> <laughs> they said, I'm sorry, we don't have any more coffee. Please wait 15 more minutes. Oh, what is the day for me? Oh, it's worse and worse. So these little things, we just have to let it go. Don't let it bother us. Exactly. If you let go, we still have to see more. More coffee? Yes. More? <laughs> So as Christians, we should always have that attitude. Just thank God, it's okay. So everything that comes around us, we just have to praise, give thanks to God for everything, the good and the bad. So we should always trust in God and pray. Amen. And another thing is that anytime we have problems, you know, we always have to have belief, faith. So when we sing that song, we, we see. You know, sure what you know, what you know, Do you understand what true faith is? We, we walk by faith, not by sight. We walk by <laughs> we walk by faith and not by sight. It means in Thai. In Thai, we walk by faith and not by sight. So we we see what we see. We see what we see. We see what we see. We see what So we we follow uh, the belief of it, not what we see with our eyes. Amen. Not what we see with our eyes. So here's an example. Oh, what time are they going to come? Are they ever going to get here? Do you know what I'm waiting for? I'm waiting for the bus. The bus, we know, it's going to come. It has to come. Even though we don't see it right here coming in front of us, we know the bus is going to come. So that there is true faith. So true faith in God is to believe that any problems and struggles that we have, God is always going to be there in the end to help us. So if we're stuck in a struggle or a problem and, and the solution is not yet here, we have to believe, you know, it's coming, it's coming. God is, is sending that solution to help us. We have to believe that it's on its way. It's like when we pray for Dan Pishad that he's going to get healed, he's going to get better. You know, we know that that's going to happen. Amen. Other, other non-believers, people that are not Christians, they believe, okay, I have to see it first, and then I'll believe it. But as Christians, we believe, okay, we're going to have faith, and then we know it's going to happen. Exactly. Believe first. So you will see and understand. Yes, believe that, first. That's the way of 
God working in our lives through through faith นะครับอาจารย์ไม่ทราบว่าใครมีพระคำพีหนึ่งเพื่อเกิดพระคีข้อที่หนึ่งนะครับหนึ่งเปโตรบทที่ห้าข้อที่สิบ Please turn to First Peter five ten First Peter five verse ten ก็จะมีตอนนี้นะครับบอกว่าพระเจ้าเนี่ยใช้ความยากลำบากต่างๆเข้ามาเนี่ยเพื่อที่จะปรับปรุงชีวิตของเรานะครับให้แข็งแกร่งขึ้นนะครับไม่ทราบว่าเจอแล้วใช่ไหมยืนที่หาเหมือนกันที่เราได้ไหมครับเฟิร์สพีเตอร์ 5:10 it says and the God of all grace who called you to His eternal glory in Christ after you have suffered a little while will Himself restore you and make you strong firm and steadfast. ก็ต้องมีบอกว่าเราไม่ได้คนทุกตลอดชีวิตเราไม่ได้คนทุกนานเกินไปที่เราคนไม่ได้แต่ว่าเราคนทุกเย็นชั่วขนาดนั้น So the Bible says it's not Is saying that we're not suffering, you know, an eternal time frame forever, but just for a little while. So anyone who really, really, you know, believes, and you know, they'll be able to get through whatever problems or sufferings they'll have. ทุกทุกอย่างไม่ว่าจะมีความยากลำบากใจในอะไรแต่คนที่เจอที่เราเราตั้งแต่วันนี้วันพรุ่งนี้พี่น้องจะต้องเจออะไรมากมายที่เข้ามาเป็นความยากลำบากพี่น้องต้องมีความเชื่อและต้องทนให้ได้ด้วยการขอบพระคุณพระเจ้าไว้สิ่ง So in our in our everyday lives, you know, we're we're going to be able to get through these struggles, and then in the end, we're going to praise God for helping us get through it. แล้วเมื่อท่านออกมาจากเหตุการณ์นั้นได้นะครับไม่เป็นเพียงแต่ท่านจะมั่นคงขึ้นในพระเจ้าแต่ท่านจะรับพระพรจากพระเจ้าด้วย And as you you know get through whatever uh, trials that you have you're gonna praise God for it ทั้งหนึ่งนะครับผมมีลูกค้าผู้หญิงคนหนึ่งเนี่ยชอบมาที่ร้านแล้วก็มาจ่ายตังรับซ่อมนาฬิกาแล้วก็ออกไป One time I had a customer come in to fix her watch uh, you know paid me and then she left สิบห้านาทีต่อไป Fifteen minutes later. เดินกลับก็มาที่ร้านมาถึงก็มาบนต่อว่าใหญ่โอ้ยนาฬิกาของฉันเนี่ยนะทำไมมีตำหนิตรงนี้อยู่ข้างบนมันตำหนิตรงตรงนี้อยู่ตรงนี้ She came back fifteen minutes later complaining, saying, "Hey, this you know latch on my watch is supposed to be here. Where is it? What happened to it?" เออผมก็ไปอธิบายว่าบางทีผมไปเห็นอยู่แล้วมันก็ถูกใส่มาหลายปีแล้วมันก็คงต้องมีบ้างนะที่จะต้องไปกูดขี So I explained to her, you know, you've had this watch for a while, so the blemishes, any scratches, it's normal. She said, I've never had that before. Give me my money back. So she said, um, "Is my work not good enough that now I have to pay you for what happened to your watch?" He said, "No, I want my money back." He said, "No, give me my money." Back I felt like I was just slapped in the face. I felt like she wasn't grateful at all, you know, for my work, whatever I did. Even though I tried to explain to her in a very sweet, sweet way, you know, I tried to do this for you, she just said, no, I just want my money back. 